let us have a look again at Liverpool um, and Jurgen Klopp. Um, if you look at their development, and let, let's just have a close look at their two at their three strikers. They have Mo Salah, they have Roberto Firmino, and they have Sadio Mane. Three foreign players from three different countries, and all three of them, two of them I had myself, Roberto Firmino was my last signing in Hoffenheim. I can tell you, all those three players, including Mo Salah, were when they came to Europe, or now to Liverpool, not natural born ball, ball winners. None of them. They were not the kind of players that everybody said, wow, they are pressing machines. No. So all the things that happened at Liverpool was the job of the coach and his coaching staff. The way they played in the last three, four years on that high level, this intense kind of football was the job of the coach. And this shows you what is possible and what can happen if a coach with a with a mindset and with a clear idea of how his team should play, what can happen. Let me tell you one other thing, and this was the same was true with our Leipzig team. Suppose Jürgen Klopp or myself or Julian Nagelsmann or Ralf Hasenhüttl had informed our players at 12 o'clock at midnight, we will meet in our training ground in one hour's time. And then we have a meeting in the locker room at one o'clock in the middle of the night. And then we play two times 15 minutes, 11 against 11, two teams. They would have played im Schlaf, as we say, by sleep or in this automatically high speed pressing, counter pressing transitional football, because it was in their hearts, in their brains and in their veins. And in fact, if we are very honest as football coaches that we all are in this room, what is the job of a football head coach or manager? To have a clear idea of how my team should play. This can be more the Pep Guardiola style or the Diego Simeone style or the Hansi Flick style or the Jürgen Nagelsmann style or the Jürgen Klopp style. Those are variations.